Hello and welcome back to Inquisitor Martyr. Last time we defeated a group of Black Legion on Nereus 3, who were trying to conduct a ritual of some sort to summon demons, of course, but the specifics are unknown. And now we have to go to another planet in the Nereus system and deal with that. Nereus III, and bolster his defenses personally. But the battle here looks like a sideshow. done one of these missions in a while. I always find it funny how it says like AA batteries even though they're supposed to be artillery that are shelling the void port so a minor thing of like why didn't they rename it but it's not that big a deal honestly. I think they actually use the model of a train piece for the artillery which is pretty cool. I recognize, like, this crane next to me as a... God, I can't remember what set it's from. But I know it's an actual terrain piece you can get. thinking there was a book that came out a little book years ago god i think it's over 10 years ago now uh cities of the dead i think it was and i wish they had updated that again because it was essentially rules for urban warfare and i feel like not doing an updated version of that is a missed opportunity even though on one hand i think how that book was kind of effectively became Kill Team. I still think you could do some interesting stuff with it. And I think having specific rules for urban warfare would be cool. Because a lot of the battle reports I see avoid having like really urban combat. Even though you can easily make terrain out of, if you really want to, just shoeboxes. If push comes to shove. But just, I don't see a lot of urban fighting. And I think it'd be really cool, because it also mixes up your normal fights. Because it's like, oh, well, maybe you can't blow up all the terrain. Or you just can't, as a rule. And then you just let players have to, you know, adjust their army. So it's like, oh, you can't really take tanks through here. Because there just isn't room. Or... Just little rules like that that would make some armies actually have to change their overall layout. And then you could introduce rules for air vehicles in urban settings, and I think it'd just be fun. But that's just me and. That's it. <laughs> Plus, I think if they made a book about urban combat, they could realistically sell a new set of, like, terrain pieces. A good start. And that would... The time is running out. It would justify the sales. Plus, I know there's, like, competitive... I mean, for a while there's been competitive, uh... 
40k, but then you could do like urban combat competitive and have effectively like subgroups. And that would be interesting to see. I wish there was, like, a good way for someone to do battle reports, because one thing that always sucks is when you watch them, you don't get as many up-close shots as there should be, or they have to, like, stop and be like, okay, here's after a turn, and I think it's, uh, just, yeah, I just think it'd be cool Reloading. for people to see more in between, and if the whole, like, and I had mentioned that a few episodes ago, the initiative idea, if that was a thing, of heresy. since then you could be like, oh, well, here's a quick pan through after, you know, three units have moved, here's a quick pan through after this and this, and it would be interesting. Can I please, like, not target the guy behind the rock? Plus, I'd like to see more terrain for more factions. I know a lot of people, or at least some people, 3D print uh, the buildings from God of War 1, which isn't a bad idea if you're if I'm gonna be honest, like, they're aesthetically fitting, you can, if you really wanted to, you could easily modify them to look damaged, and then have it so you can hide inside and have some cover. In general, it's a solid idea. Only one Black Legion battery left. I hope those shields hold for a few more minutes. Or I'd like to see... I'd almost like to see a book dedicated to running, like, a long-term campaign. And what I mean is, like, oh, here's these encounters on this planet. Kind of like the old... Uh, yeah, they are pretty old now. The Siege of Vrax books. Like, I want more of that kind of stuff. Because I feel like there isn't as much of, like, here's... Like, these long, long fights. And the thing is, I'd like to have it so players can kind of make their own random or semi-randomly generated one. Because that that's always the fun, is just... Here's an encounter for players. You know, it's gonna be different every time you do it. And that's always, that's always my argument, because when I see like, oh, you can do this fight where it's, here's this objective, I'm like, eh. Like, the pre-mades are cool, but you need to do a lot more pre-mades, and part of the problem is 40k isn't really designed outside of either wipe the enemy or take and hold positions, so... You're kind of pigeonholed into a handful of encounters. And it isn't bad, mind you. It just ends up kind of gimping future playability. You know, you either have to buy a ton of armies and change them out for a new experience, or you're just kind of stuck. Man, this has been a real quick fight. I kind of like these shorter fights. 
But it kind of sucks because then I'm trying to get an idea out and then like the mission ends and I'm like, oh, I'm halfway through my thought. At your command. The Black Legion artillery has been eliminated. The void port is safe for now. I hope our rogue trader friends will be grateful, Captain. Quick note too, kind of funny because this is a Hydra, or it looks like the Hydra flak cannons that the Imperial Guard use on Hydra AA guns, or like AA vehicles. But if you actually had that as a mortar system, I think that'd be pretty good. Because you could fire one barrel, fire the next barrel, fire the third barrel, fire the fourth barrel, and this barrel, because I'm assuming you'd go bottom left, top left, bottom right, top right. Or you could go bottom left, top left, top right, bottom left, or bottom right, kind of going clockwise. But either way, it would keep the barrel cooler than just command. rapid firing, which likely will cause your barrel to heat up and potentially explode, killing you. Because that's happened. People overfire mortars. But yeah, just a random thought. And that is all for now. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit the like button. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.